There was a long piece in there called The Planet is Fine, The People are Fucked. We'll be gone. Dinosaurs had their chance. There was an age of reptiles. Now it's the age of primates. And who knows? Maybe it'll be the insects next. It's not up to us. It's not divinely ordained. We're here on chance, and we're going to go away. And the planet will heal. The planet will heal, because that's what it does. It heals itself. It's a self-healing organism. It changes and grows. It'll incorporate all of our dead cities into itself, and it will become something else. But it will still be going around the sun for at least a few more billion years or whatever. So we're, this whole thing, we have to save the planet by not putting diapers in the landfill. That's, that's too short sighted. It doesn't do anything. You have to change yourself. And we'll never do that because the dollars now, it's everybody wants a dollar and a toy. Everybody's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls. So they don't, they, nobody wants to rock the boat. Nobody wants to change. Don't change anything. And we're, we're in a nice downward glide. I think we squandered a great gifts. I think humans were given great, great gifts. Walking upright, binocular vision, opposable thumb, large brain, making tools. Make tools, large brain, large brain, make better tools. Talk, have to like language, you take this, put in here. We learned language, the brain got bigger, language. We grew, we had great gifts, and we gave it up all up for both men, uh, for both money and uh, God. God and mammon, both. We gave it up to the high priests. It's your job. It's a, God's will. That's what they say. People say it's God's will. That means God can do anything he wants, so why pray? They say you pray for something. Okay, my, he didn't answer my prayers. Well, it's God's will. Well, if it's God's will, why did I even pray in the first place? He's going to do what he wants anyway. We gave it all up to superstition, primitive superstition, primitive shit, primitive shit. With invisible man in the sky looking down, keeping track of what we do, make sure we don't do the wrong thing. If we do, he puts us in hell and we burn forever. That kind of shit is very limiting. It's very limiting for this brain we have. So we keep ourselves limited, and then we want a toy and a gizmo and gold, and we want shiny things, and we want something to plug in that'll make big, big, big things for us. And, 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 and all that shit is nothing. It's nothing. We gave it all up. And Americans, who also had great gifts, when you take the theory of de democratic rule, self-government, okay, they, did, they started off wrong. They owned slaves. They didn't let women vote. They didn't let people who didn't own land vote. Fine. They got off on the wrong foot. But the ideas were good. But we fucking blew that. We polluted it. We polluted it with this stuff, things, material goods, games, gizmos, toys, gadgets, Having possessions, oh, he's got a bigger truck. He says she is truck. It's bigger than mine. I'm getting a new truck. Get, here's a big truck. Oh, I'm getting that one. That's what you got a video in it. Your DVD too. He don't have a DVD. I got a DVD. You know. Oh, please. Whatever happened, and all of that is what happened. You know. And that's why I'm divorced from it now. I see it from a distance. I give myself a divorce. I said, George, emotionally you have no stake in this. You don't care one way or another. So watch it. Have fun. You know what? I say it this way. When you're born in this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. And when you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. <laughs> and some of us get to sit there with notebooks. And I'm a notebook. And, uh -huh. oh, oh. oh, my God, did you see that? Did you see what he just... And I watch the freak show, and I cut my notes, and I make up stuff about it, and I talk about the freaks. And the freaks are all humans, and they're like me, and they're all the same. We're all the same. I'm not better. I'm not different. I'm just a part now. I'm separate. I'm over here because I put myself out of the mix. I don't have a stake in the outcome. I'm not a cheerleader for a given outcome now. Oh, they say if you scratch a cynic, you'll find a disappointed idealist. And I would admit that somewhere underneath all of this there's a little flicker of a flame of idealism that would love to see it all whoosh, change, but it can't do, it can't happen that way. And incremental change, it just seems like the pile of shit is too deep.